too long, Chad. Now, we need to spend some time tonight. Now you can go on and on about how you don't need me. But I know you do. I'm your drug of choice. And you're addicted. You say how much you don't want to be with me. But you just keep coming back for more. Jared and Teresa, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you're about to make. A marriage, according to the law in this country, is the union of one man and one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, and to the exclusion of all others. Give me a little bit of time. A little bit of time to work on your brother's cases. And in the meantime, you are going to promise me that you're not going to marry Jared. Dr. Russell said that we, we can't get married until he's better anyway. So. Okay, that's, that's great news because that gives me a little more time. I'm going to ask you one more time. Promise me you're not going to run off and marry Jared. I can't. Yes, you can. You can say it, Ethan. I'm going to promise you this. Just Ethan. do it. Please. I promise. You. I'm going to help you brothers. And then you will not have to marry Jared. And now, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to say a word or two about what has brought you to this day. Love. Love is the most powerful emotion known to humankind. It's what sets us apart from all other living things. Love can conquer all other emotions. And a committed, true love will give you the greatest joy in life. Ethan, where are you? Why haven't you come back to stop the wedding? Tess, you all right? Huh? Shall I continue? Oh, of course. Oh, yes, of course, please. <laughs> Very well. Jared, repeat after me. I, Jared, take thee, Teresa, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Jared, take thee, Teresa, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Is it just me, or is this wedding a bit strange? What did you expect? Teresa is the queen of strange. No, it's not Teresa. It's the whole thing. An unplanned wedding shower where we're all given gifts to bring. Teresa's not the one pushing this wedding forward, but someone is. Oh, I agree, but who... Who cares, as long as Teresa gets married and keeps her away from Ethan. Tess. Hey. You all right? You're not having second thoughts, right? No. No, no, I'm totally fine. Please, go on. Uh, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others. Please, Ethan. You gotta get here before it's too late. I've gotta get to the hospital and stop that wedding. Teresa cannot marry Jared. Not when I know I found something that could clear Louisa Miguel. That black man I cannot force her to marry Jared if I can get the proof. Damn it, red light. Come on. Come on, I gotta stop this wedding. I can't be late for this. No. I didn't know it was him. I saw him fire and then I shot. I think I killed him. Calm down. He's not moving. I don't think he's breathing. I think he's dead. What the hell is he doing here in the first place? How did he escape from jail? Please, you have to live, okay? Please, wake up. Wake up. Wake up, okay? I can't listen to you. I can't listen to you. you alive? Did you get a pulse? Yeah, I got one, but it's weak. Oh, thank God. Okay, we need an ambulance. I'm sure one is on the way. I'll make sure. He's got gasoline on his clothes. Gasoline? Why? I don't know. We gotta get him out of here fast. Okay, get out. Over here! I found somebody over here! Oh, my 
my God, it's the bartender. Is he alive? No, ma'am, he's dead. Let's get a gurney in here. No, but he can't be dead. He was supposed to tell me something about Ray. Is that Luis? Yes, it's Luis. We've got to get him out of here fast. Luis is in here. He is the one who killed the bartender. I mean, you don't know that, Simone. Yes, I saw him with the torch. He set the place on fire to cover it up. Cover up what? The, the bartender from the Blue Note had information from me, from Ray, and I came here to meet him, but Luis killed him before he could tell me what Ray wanted me to know. Simone, calm down. Luis is hurt very badly. We've got to get him out here right now. But he deserves to die. Okay, he killed a woman I love, and now he has killed this man. He should die. The ring symbolizes the circle of love, freely given and received equally, with no beginning and no end. Jared, will you place the ring on Teresa's finger and repeat after me? With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Teresa, do you have a ring for Jared? Yes. Place the ring on Jared's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. Tess, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Okay. Um, with this ring, I thee wed. Ethan, how could you do this to Teresa? pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. What has now been joined together, let no man tear apart. There's another man coming out. He's dead. He's dead because Luis got to him before and he could tell me what Ray wanted me to know. Get forensics over here as well. Have them work with the police department figure out what the hell happened. I right? know what happened. Luis came here, he killed the bartender, and then he set the place on fire. Simone, calm down. I can't have this conversation with you right now. Do you understand? Yes, Sergeant. This is Chief Bennett. When were you going to tell me that Lopez Fitzgerald escaped jail? You just found out? 
No, no. APB is necessary. He's in custody right now. We're taking him to the hospital. Right. Just get back to the station and figure out how he escaped. Yeah. Right. I'll take care of him. Lost a lot of blood. You have to help him. Can't transport him just yet. The partner's on the phone with the hospital. Let's rape him and we can transport. Fancy. Forgive me, I didn't know it was Luis my shot. You did what you had to do. But I need to ask you a question. Did you help him escape? What? No, I swear I didn't. According to the signing sheet, you were the last officer in the area of the prison cells. Chief, I did not let Luis out of his cell. I have no idea how he escaped. I hope to God you're telling the truth. I am, I swear. Do you know how bad this looks for Luis now? Now he's going to be charged with arson and another murder. You, you can't believe what Simone said. You know what? I don't know what to believe. But I can't afford to have it come out that one of my own cadets helped Luis escape so he could pull off these crimes. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't believe Luis did this. Evidence doesn't look good. I'm going to ask you one more time. Now, if you know anything, anything at all, you need to tell me right now. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I swear to God, I did not help Luis escape. I don't know how he did it. Teresa, I'm so sorry. I can't believe Ethan didn't come back. I'm too late. I'm too late. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. We're all just thrilled for you. You're looking at the happiest man alive. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure you stay that way. Oh, I'm fine, Dr. Russell. Really. Well, I'm glad to hear it, but uh, I think I need to check your blood pressure and make sure it didn't spike during all the excitement. Yeah, that's the office, eh? Hey? Better take this outside. What do you want? I want what you want. So get over here. I told you it's over. Okay, I'm not doing this again no more. Oh, you can't cut me off just like that, Chad. Yes, I can. Now, you listen to me. I'm serious. I'm not going to be with you again. Now, you know that's a crock, so stop wasting time and get over here. You, know, you, you can't do it, Chad. You know I drive you crazy. What we have is too good. So get over here. I'll see you in a few, okay? I said no, and I mean it. Well, if you really mean it, maybe it's time for me to send a nice little package to Whitney. A very X-rated DVD showing her just what you like to do in bed. Oh, and what you like doing it with. <laughs> Vincent, no. No, you can't do that. I can't, and I will. Unless you show up here within ten minutes. All right, I'm on my way. I'll meet you at the motel. Yeah, I thought you would. You're a smart guy, Chad. You bastard. Ooh, I love it when you talk all mean. All that pent-up anger and frustration makes for a very sexy, hotter-than-hot lover. Shut up. Just shut up. <sighs> I have a feeling tonight's going to be hotter than ever. Don't keep me waiting. You know, I'm glad Whitney went with Teresa to the hospital. So she could be spared, you're not so subtle little cracks. <laughs> they must have been subtle enough. <laughs> she had no idea I was talking about you and me. And she never will. Thank you, Gary. I'm gonna tell Whitney all about us. Every little detail. I'm sorry, Whitney. So sorry. I repeat, this is the most bizarre wedding I've ever witnessed. The groom lying in a hospital bed, and the bride not exactly overcome with joy. And as I said, who cares? As long as Teresa's married, she's off the market, and Ethan is out of her clutches. Well, Mrs. Casey, it's obvious your husband loves you very much. It's wonderful to see a man so devoted to his wife. 
It is. Thank you. Yes. Um, you just sign here, make it official. And congratulations. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I gotta go. I, I, just for a second, you know, I don't want Jared to see me like this. No, no, no. You should should go. Go ahead while my mother is examining Jared, okay? All right. Why'd you do it? Why didn't you wait? I needed a couple more minutes. I just needed a couple more minutes. Maybe. <laughs> did you see the man that I came here with? Actually, I did. He was out here talking on the phone a little while ago. Oh, he was. Um, you didn't happen to hear anything that he was saying, did you? Uh, he said he was on his way. On his way. Do you know where? <laughs> I'd rather not say. That's okay. I mean, I mean, he is, he's my husband, so, so you can tell me, right? Well, he said something about a motel. A motel. Yes. Excuse me. What can I know? Okay, what's going on here? I mean, is Chad really having an affair? Is he seeing another woman? Well, I can't let this go. I mean, I have to find out. I have to find out right now. Here. It's the good scotch, the one you like. Now, I'm ahead of you by two shots, so you're going to have to catch up. I told you it's over. Now, I don't want you calling me. I don't want you hanging around my office. I don't want you threatening to tell my wife. You leave Whitney out of this, you understand? Well, I understand that you're here because you can't resist me. You need what I've got. Shut up, Vincent. I'm through with your bull. I'm warning you. Oh, what? You go to the police? Oh, oh. Or maybe even better. You'll tell Whitney yourself, hoping that she'll forgive you. Somehow, I don't think she'll be very forgiving. And Whitney is not going to find out. She never will. That's right. There's no need for her to know. As long as you keep coming back here for more. And I know you will. Because you need what I've got. That's enough. That's enough. No. Mm -mm. It's never enough. That's why you keep coming back for more. So come here. Let me give it to you. There's that passion that I know and love. <laughs> you know, you're addicted to me, Chad. You're a junkie. Now, you can try to stay away, but you always come back because you can't do without it. Now, I know you try, but the need is still there. That need is gnawing at you. Always in the back of your mind until it's all you can think about. It haunts you. It drives you crazy. Until the only thing that you can do about it is give in to that need. Give in to it, child. Give in to that need. Give in to that passion and that pleasure. CP. 70 or 45. He's lost a lot of blood. He's losing pressure fast. Well, let's get him in here. Dr. Russell's on her way down. I'm sorry, but you can't go in there. Oh, God. 
Please help him. Don't let him die. I hope he dies. I hope he gets what he deserves. Simone, you don't mean that. Yeah, I do mean that. You've known Luis your whole life. You can't possibly think that he's a murderer. I can see you don't believe it, but I do. I'm sorry, Chief. I saw his St. Christopher medal in my poor, dead, Ray's hand. Okay? If he didn't kill her, who did? He had no reason to kill Ray. I think he did. I think she knew something about him, and I think he wanted to shut her up. And why else would he be in the bartender's house if he wasn't trying to shut that guy up too, Chief? I don't know, Simone. I don't know what to think. Why'd you marry him? Why? I waited as long as I could. Even what took you so long? It's bizarre. I can't. Not here. I shouldn't be here with you. I really need to get back to Jared, please. We were just married. I didn't have to marry him. I asked you to wait. Twice. I mean, I tried, Ethan, but everything was arranged. The justice with the peace showed up, and I just ran out of fuel. Damn it. A couple more minutes, and I could have stopped this thing. Teresa. Honey, Luis is in the ER. He's been shot. Is he okay? Uh, he's alive. That's all I know. I, I don't understand. He was, he was in How did he get out of jail? Apparently he escaped. He escaped? Is that, wait, is that how he got shot? Well, the police found him in the apartment of a, a bartender who worked at the Blue Note. Uh, they called him out and then he started shooting and they shot back. Oh, my God. Well, what, what, what was he doing there? Well, honey, they say that he killed the bartender and he... He set the apartment on fire. He killed a man? Oh, my God, this is crazy. No, no, Luis would not do this. That is all that I know. I think you need to speak to Sam, but I have to get to the ER. Of course. Oh, God. And Teresa, what day? Hey, what, 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 what the hell is going on here? I don't know. I, I really need to go see Luis right Wait, now. I need to talk to no, you. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Not now. Okay, later. This, this is about Ethan. Luis. This is about Luis and Miguel. I can clear their names, okay? You found something. Yes. I know that Luis didn't kill anybody, and I know that Miguel was not responsible for that hit and run against Fox. And so, okay, you have, you have proof? It's, it's complicated, it's very bizarre, but I need to show it to you. Ethan, just tell me. Why I can't you... tell you, I need to show it to you, all right? I found the blackmailer's apartment. Okay? You got an apartment? Yeah. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Okay, we, we, can, we can prove that my brothers are really being set up. Exactly, that's why I need you to come with me right now. I need, you to, I need your help, actually, to get the evidence. No, no, no. I, I mean, I, I want to help you, but I, I can't leave. I, I can't leave. I can't leave. Jared, and, and I really need to go to the right listen. now. Teresa, listen. You have to come with me. If you want to clear your brother's names, and if you want to be with me, you have to come with me right now. Please let me be wrong. Don't let me find Chad in one of these rooms with another woman. Uh, uh, okay, that's enough. What are you talking about? Well, you said it was over. You said that you didn't want to do this anymore, so I think we better stop. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, oh my God. That's Chad's voice. Please don't let him be in there with another woman. I can't believe I shot Luis. I'm not even that good a shot. Oh, well, obviously you're a better shot than you think. Luis has to live, Chief. I will never forgive myself if he dies. I can't believe you're carrying on like this, Fancy. I mean, Louise is a killer. A cold-blooded killer. I, I, how can you defend him after everything he's done? I don't believe he killed Ray or that bartender. Okay, well, what about raping you? What about attacking and raping you? Are you in denial about that, too? He, he loves me. He wouldn't do that to me. But every bit of evidence says that he did. Louise is a monster, and I hope that he dies and rots in hell. 
I can see the bullet, but I, I, I can't get to it. And he's bleeding out. Damn it. His BP's dropping, Doctor, and his heart rate is elevating, too. Start a dopamine drip, Seth. Well, the wedding party certainly has fizzled, but at least they have some decent champagne. I wonder why Eve went rushing out of here the way she did. I don't know. She got some phone call and off she went. And we are waiting to hear from Valerie if she's found out anything more about our son. Well, wouldn't Eve tell you if it was something about your child? Of course, she's a doctor. She was probably called out about a, another case. Hmm. The maid of honor's gone, and so is the best man. <laughs> this is definitely weird. Indubitably. And where's Teresa? I mean, she married that poor boy, and now she's missing in action. Yes, it just mm. keeps getting stranger and stranger. Mm. I've uh, already got your wife's signature, so I'll just file these with the county, and then you'll officially be a married man. Where is your bride? Um, no idea. You gotta come with me. I gotta show you this apartment. Hey, there is evidence there that it's gonna clear your brother's name so we can get this blackmailer finally. You think the blackmailer's the same person who's been sitting at my brother's? I think that's an avenue that we have to consider. Yeah, but first you gotta come see this apartment. This blackmailer forced you to marry Jared, Teresa. We gotta get him. No. And then you can get your marriage annulled, no, for God's sake. No, I can't leave, Ethan. I can't. I'm married to Jared. This is our wedding night. Yeah, you don't have to remind me that it's your, that it's your wedding night, Teresa. I know. I am sorry. I waited for you, Ethan. I did, but when you didn't show up, I just thought you weren't coming. I thought, I thought you knew how desperate I was to stop I this wedding did. here. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to leave, okay? Jared, he has not made a full recovery, and I need to go see about the week. Luis is who I'm trying to help. I need your help, though. I cannot do this alone. I need your help no, on this, Teresa. I want to help you. I do, but I'm not going to leave. Teresa, if we get the proof, we can end all the pain that your brothers have been going through, and then we can finally tell Jared the truth that we want to be together. I mean, I thought that's what you wanted. Is it? It's too late. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. No, it's not too late. I won't accept too late. It's not too late because I love you and you love me. And I know that. Tess, what's going on? Chad's cheating on me or not. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I'm meeting my boyfriend right here, and, and I seem to have forgotten my key. <laughs> Would you mind letting me in, please? I'm sorry. Do you have a receipt for the room? A rece my boyfriend is actually the one who has the receipt. But I'm supposed to meet him here. I mean, he, he's on his way, and, you know, I kind of want to be waiting for him inside the room when he showed up. <laughs> Do you mind letting me in, please? Okay, um... For your trouble? All right, but don't tell anyone I did this. No, I won't. I won't. Thank you very much. going on out here? Jared, you should be back in bed. No, 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 I'm fine. What's she doing here? I'm trying to help her. To help her what? We got married tonight. Did she tell you that? Look, Ethan came to me to tell me that he found a way to clear my brother's name and, and, and he needs my help. I need her to come with me, Jared. With you where? Don't worry, okay? Look at me. I, I told him I'm not going to go anywhere with him. I'm going to stay here with you. We just got married. I'm glad to hear it. I can't believe that you would come down here on her wedding night lying about, about, about finding a way to help her brothers. Am I, am I supposed to just believe it's, it's a coincidence that you found something tonight? Hold on. This is not about you. It's about Luis and Miguel. And from what happened to Luis tonight, things are getting worse. 
W- why? What's what's going on? What happened to Louise? Uh, yeah, apparently he escaped from jail and he's been shot. And uh, he is being accused of killing another man and, and setting his apartment on fire. Oh, Tess. I'm sorry. Is, uh, is he okay? He's in the ER right now with Dr. Russell. You say he, he escaped from jail and he killed someone? Yes, but it's not true. Yeah, but it sounds pretty bad. And you think you found a way to clear Luis's name? Yeah. Well, then you have to go. You want me to go with Ethan? Well, if I'll help your brothers, you have to do it. Jared. I'm coming with you. No, you're, no, you, you can't. No, no, you're still recovering. No, look, and, and Dr. Russell has a team of nurses taking care of you, Jared. You wouldn't even be allowed to leave. Yes, I told you. I'm fine. You're not fine. Now, you could have a relapse, Jared, and if something were to happen to you, I would never forgive myself. Now, please, get back in bed and you take care of yourself. All right. I guess I have no choice but to let you go. Thank you. Well, we'll celebrate the wedding when you get back, you know. Maybe we'll be able to celebrate uh, the good news about Luis and Miguel, too. With any luck, we will. Thank you for understanding. I'll be back really soon, okay? I need to get out of my dress. Just remember. She's my wife. Don't forget that. What's going on here? I know I heard voices. I could swear I heard chat. It's in the shower. Chad! Open this door! It's Whitney. Look, Chad, I know you're in there, okay? And I'm not leaving here until you come out right now. You hear me? This thing is... Pressure. It's still dropping, Doctor. Increase the drip rate. We've got to get him stabilized. This bullet hit an artery, and if I don't get it out right now, he's not going to make it. Chief, he's off to Lopez Fitzgerald's clothes. Said you want to get him to the lab? Yeah, thanks. What is that smell in Luis's clothes? Probably smoke from the fire. No. No, it's something else. It's gasoline. Chief, Luis's clothes smell like gasoline. Now, is there any doubt that he started the fire? Well, Luis was in the room, so if the fire was caused by gasoline, his clothes would have picked up the smell. Fancy. I saw a person in the apartment with a torch in his hand, and now we have Luis's clothes smelling like gasoline. How much more proof do you need? It's circumstantial. It is proof. Damn it, I know you don't want to believe it, but Luis is guilty as sin, and this proves it. This doesn't look good, Fancy. I know. Things keep going from bad to worse. I mean, even if Luis survives being shot... It... Yeah, the DA is going to press for the death penalty. And after what's happened tonight with Luis escaping from jail, arson, and another murder, I'm pretty sure the jury's going to see it the same way. Oh, God. How is Luis going to get out of this one? So the police think that Luis killed some man and then set fire to his apartment? That's what Tess told me. Well, who did he kill? Why? I don't know. That's why Dr. Russell ran out of here in such a hurry. What has gotten into Luis? Well, Teresa says he's innocent. Says that, that, that somebody's framing him. And that, that somebody's framing Miguel as well. Oh, now that is preposterous. My son saw Miguel behind the wheel of the car that ran him down. Maybe he made a mistake. Well, things just seem to get worse and worse for Luis. Where is Teresa? Is she in the ER? No, she's with Ethan. Teresa's with Ethan. For God's sakes, why? Well, he claims he found a way to prove Luis innocent. 
And that he needs Teresa's help. And you just let her go with him? What, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Easy, old girl. Jared knows what he's doing, don't you, Jared? You do, don't you, Jared? I mean, <laughs> it's easy wedding night. Yeah, I know that, Julian. I love Teresa. You know, and I, 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 I trust her. She's my wife. It's Ethan I don't trust. God knows I hate saying anything against my own son. But when it comes to Teresa, I don't trust either one of them. And how did you find this place? I used the Crane database to pull up a phone call that the blackmailer made to you. I heard carnival noise in the background. This is the only building that's next to a carnival that's in town. Okay, and you said that there are photographs all over the walls. Oh, yeah. Pictures of us, Jerry and Gwen. Another wall had had Kay, Fox, and Miguel. Another wall had Sheridan, Louise, Fancy, and Chris. And another wall had a whole bunch of other people from Harmony. I mean, it was crazy. Okay, and, and, and this is all the proof that we need, right? No, but after what happened to me, Teresa, and what I found out, I'm damn sure that this is where the blackmailer lives. And you think that the blackmailer is the same person who's trying to send my brothers to prison? I know it. How do you know? Look, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened to me, okay? But first, let's get in there and find the absolute proof that we need, okay? Okay. Come on. And this is it, right? This is it? This is it. Once you see what's inside here, you're going to realize that this whole thing is over. That you and I can be together, okay? Okay.